Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Grace Beer Reviews today. Today's beer is another one from Dark Horse Brewing. Uh, Andrew sent these out to me. This is Plead the Fifth Imperial Stout. And this is a 11 percenter, guys. And I'm sure it's got the date on it here, but I cannot see it since the bottle is sweating now. They write their stuff in, the, in black digitized uh, letters on the side of the bottle. So we'll take a look at it when we come back and, and I'll give you the dating on there. I'm pretty sure it's there. They do date their stuff, so thumbs up to them for doing that. Commercial description on this one, guys. It's a big and full-bodied with lots of roasted malt and balanced with heavy hops to put this Imperial in a league of its own, previously known as Dark Horse Imperial Stout. And they've changed the name to Plead the Fifth. The food pairings for this one, guys, says since it is a stout, it goes well with your chocolate dishes, and that's all it has there. Uh, this will also go well as, as an uh, aspartame after dinner drink or with your very strong dishes, uh, grilled meat, salmon, uh, uh, a lot of your uh, stronger cheeses, uh, gorgonzola, Limburger, stuff like that will go with this. Uh, but it goes well with chocolate and that's what they've got here on, uh, on uh, Beer Advocate for their food pairings. And being 11 percenter, this beer will keep for a long, long time. Uh, 11% probably keep 10 years or longer, so if it's selling correctly. So don't think there's anything else we need to talk about. I've gave you the commercial description. So let's get the cap off of this bad boy. Thank you, Andrew, for sending these out to me. I do like Dark Horse beers. Uh, these guys have got it going on out there. They know what they're doing. Let's get it in the glass. We'll go down the center on this one. This is a very dark, very black, and the head is a dark, dark brown head. Very rich looking in the glass. Got us about a half a finger of head on that pour. There is no light. It is absolutely black, like most Imperial Stouts are. There are a few exceptions, but most of them are this color. And this one has a deep brown head on it. Very dark head. Let's get a nose on it. Chocolate, coffee, rich roasted malt, some cocoa in there. Basically, that's about what I'm getting. Um, there's not a huge hot profile on this beer, uh, which is normal for an Imperial Stout. The coffee and the chocolate stand out more than anything else in the roasted malt. 11 percenter guys. This is a sipper. Cheers everybody. Thank you Andrew. Appreciate it sir. Ooh, yeah. Very nice. Rich caramel toffee chocolate coffee. Might be just a hint of some dark fruit in there too. Figs, dates, raisins, plums. And that might come become more intense or, or more apparent as it warms up since it's right out of the fridge at 40 degrees. And we're going to let it warm up like I always do because uh, those aromas and, and, and flavors do change as it warms up to room temperature. Because the serving temperature on, on this type of beer is between 55 and 65 degrees, so which is almost room temperature. I always start off with a chill like this because uh, I like to start off, it's just my preference, it's just, that's just me. A lot of people like to let them set out room temperature and then pour them in the glass and more power to you if you like it that way by all means by golly do it. But I like to start off with a chill like that and let it warm up as I'm drinking it. And this is 11 percent of the sipper, this will probably take me 30, 45 minutes to drink. But it smells and tastes pretty damn awesome guys. Well, we're going to let it warm up. I might even have to fire up a cigar to go with this one, too. A lot of these dark beers go very well with cigars. So Let's let it warm up, and I'll be right back and do the final chug and grate on this one. All right, guys, I'm back. i just a little left. This beer is delicious. I mean, these guys have a dark horse brewing. they got it going on. I don't think they make a bad beer. Uh, the Whoever the head brewmaster is there, he knows what he's doing, so... This has warmed up very nicely. It went very well with the cigar that I was smoking. Uh, I like a, I like a good cigar with a nice imperial stout. And 
this one didn't let me down. So this is a very tasty beer. Let's do the final chug on this one. Mm. Chocolate. Roasted malt. Coffee. A little bit of dark fruit in there. Very well made, like I said. Not a big alcohol taste in this one. It was delicious, guys. I told you I was going to look for the date on the bottle. I'm sure it's there. Let me see if I can see it with my old feeble eyes. 1980. I am sure it's here, but I do not see it. 1980. Well, it's really not that critical on a beer with this ABV in its style. Even though I know it's there, I just cannot see it. I cannot see it, guys. I apologize. It's on there. And it's got... I mean, the first two numbers, it's got 14 on it. It looks like it's 1-something 2014. So, well within its uh, freshness date there. And like I said, this beer will, will keep for 10 or 15 years if it's selling correctly. It's awesome. It's delicious. Guys, this is a 10 as far as I'm concerned. The only way this could be better is to be barrel, bourbon barrel aged. So, and I'm a big fan of bourbon barrel aged imperial stouts. But we're not going to detract from the, uh, the review on this one or the rating on this one. This one gets a 10 for me, guys. Uh, I enjoyed it that much. Uh, Dark Horse beers are delicious. Andrew, thanks again, brother, for sending me this beer. I understand why you drink uh, Dark Horse beers. They are great beers. I wish I could get them here. You would see a lot more of them in the fridge uh, if I could get my hands on these beers here. So Let's go over to uh, Beer Advocate first. Beer Advocate says 95 world class. <clears throat> would not argue with that whatsoever. I think the number is just a tad low, but it's a world class beer, guys. If you can get your hands on it, you need to pick it up if you like this style of beer. And over to... Uh, Rate beer, rate beer says 100 overall. That's about where I'm going to put it, and 96 in the style. So, and those numbers are averaged out. So, uh, I mean, just because the one number is lower than the other, other than uh, it doesn't mean the beer is bad or the the beer uh, that the people thought it was thought it was bad. It's just the way the numbers figure out and what the comments and what their ratings are, and they put them together. So. It's, it's definitely a, a 10 beer as far as I'm concerned, guys. So with that being said, if you've had this one from Dark Horse, they're Plead the Fifth Imperial Stout. Let me know what you think of it. I loved it. I wish I could get it here. I really do. All right, guys, that's it for this one. If you like, if you, uh, if you uh, got some comments on this one, give them back. Let me know what you think of it. Hit that like button. As always, hit that like button. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And uh, let's go see how, uh, take that walk and uh, see what's in the fridge tomorrow. I'll see you then.